Street fight, broken glass, gunfire, those were the sounds at 24th and Scott that caused neighbors to call 911, but now they claim police did not respond. Yona Gavino talked to those neighbors, and she joins us live in the studio. Yona. That's right, Mike. This is a very busy neighborhood, and it's filled with families and small children, but they told me that every single time they called 911, they were put on hold, and police never showed up. Crime has risen. Jean Richardson claims she felt like a prisoner in her own home. I'm trying to help them, but I don't have the backup from our department. And I'm afraid I can walk out of my house or sit in my living room and get hit by a bullet. She witnessed about 15 people fighting in the street. She oh, heard man. breaking glass and shots fired. She called police, but told me after four calls and about 20 minutes on hold, no one showed up. How shocked were you that when you called, you didn't get a response even one time? I was shocked. Um, it didn't really shock me too much like the first time, but then when I'm put on hold, with dispatch, I was really shocked, but I was even more stunned that um, the officers, two different officers I spoke with, couldn't have said, "Hey, you know, that's an issue. Let me let me help you." Alderman Bob Donovan is just as outraged. It is uh, my obligation to stand up and fight for the best interests of my constituents, and by God, as long as I'm alderman, I'm going to do just that. Donovan calls the police's failure to respond totally unacceptable. Now, Milwaukee police told me they did respond to the scene. In fact, they sent me this email stating they responded to two 911 calls. They responded within eight minutes of the original call about a fight and were on the scene just three minutes after someone reported hearing gunfire. However, they are conducting a review of the incident. Mike and Carol. All right, thank you, Yona. Master Lock workers protested at the